Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today we are continuing with the series of the MT sensors from Cisco Meraki. Now we have this little fork here and this is the MT12. This is the sensor that we use for water leaking. So if you have a place when you know that you shouldn't have any water at all, this is your baby for you. We're going to go through the basic MT configuration as you can see here. We're going to go to how to add this device to the network how to make sure that it's connected to the dashboard so we can see that everything is green and reachable and then how to set alerts for you to be sent through a phone number, through email alerts or through webhooks as well. If you don't understand too much about how to add the device first to the inventory, you can go here to this video. I'm going to show you how to create your dashboard account, how to add the device to the inventory. And after that, you can come back to us in this video on how to add it to the network. If you want to know more about Cisco Meraki devices, configured features, or even how to troubleshoot properly, you can come here. This is our Cisco Meraki playlist where you can see all the different videos that we have done before. And it's going to help you step by step on how to make a Meraki master for you. Coming back to the MT, now that we have this with us, let's go to the dashboard and let's configure it. Meraki dashboard, we're going to go through the empty sensors and assign it to the network and configure with the alerts that we want. The first step is going to organization inventory. If you don't have the device in the inventory, you can go back to our previous video when you can know how to configure and create a Cisco Meraki account and then how to add the devices to the network. Here we have the devices already to the inventory and we're going to use the empty tool in this occasion. So the thing that you have to do is just actions change network assignment. We're going to put it in the network of the IT way. This is our network. Move it and it's saved. This is the same network that we have here and that's why we're going to refresh the page and find our new environmental tab. If we go to environmental overview, this is the overview of this page. You're going to have the device status to know which one is online, which one is offline, which is warning and which one is dormant. Since this is a water leak uh, detection, that's why you have already the alerting sensor here. So we don't have any specific profiles yet because we just added that device. Here we can see that the device is already online. For us to make it online, we have to take into consideration these two banners. So here it says that you need a network gateway to talk to this specific empty sensor and any other sensors that we have at Cisco Meraki. And you have two different devices, could be a Wi-Fi 6 access point or a second generation NV camera. So you need at least one of those two. And if it's an MR, take a look to see what is the minimum firmware version that you need to have those MR to make sure that they can talk to each other. If we come here, let's take a look to this topology to this documentation and here explain a little bit more. So this is the list of compatible gateways. You have to have at least one of these cameras or one of these access points. Again, just the second generation NV cameras or Wi-Fi 6 compatible APs. If we go back to my network, I've, if you see that I just have the camera, I have an MV32, which is part of the compatible devices. That's why my sensor is able to talk to the cloud and talk to the dashboard. If we go back environmental overview, if we go to the sensor area, we're going to see all the sensors that we have. This time it's just the MT12. If we go to the MT12, here is the wire detection. So here you have two modes. It's dry, which is right now how it is. And then is the wet area. So that's just like a zero and one. That's the two status that you will see. If you scroll down, we have the gateway connectivity and it's part of the connection stability. Here, it looks like it tried and failed four times when trying to connect to the MV camera. And right now the average connection light they have is 24 seconds. This is important here because you're gonna see the gateway and the RSSI, the signal strength that you have from the empty sensor to your gateway, in this case, the camera. And the last time that it was connected, which is like right now. Going back, we're going to see as well the alert profiles. This is when you configure and assign all those profiles. So if we go back to overview, let's say that I want to create an alert when this 
sensor change from dry to wet. You click here, create a new alert. Let's call it wet alert. And we're going to add the conditions. The conditions for this sensor is water. So when is water detected or absent? In my case, it's one is detected. So the notifications, you have three different options. The email, you can put an email. In this case, we can put our email. Or you can use the network-wide alerts email recipients that you have already as default. You can use a phone number. So we'll send an SMS message. Or you can use the webhook server that you have already, and it's going to send the alert over there. Just click Done. After the profile is created, we have to assign that profile to the sensor. You go to the sensor and add the layer profiles. So here you have all the profiles available. This time it's just one. It's going to apply to one sensor and we have just one recipient subscribed. If you save it, it's already there. So you see the wet alert. So when this sensor changed from dry to wet, so you see that threshold line as well, it's going to send the alert and the notifications to the ones that we selected. And that's how you put the MT12 in the network, how do you configure and how to ensure that it's online and you have the notifications already set. And that's how you configure the MT12, the water leak sensors in the Cisco Meraki dashboard. As you were able to see, it's very easy and one of the simplest Cisco Meraki devices to configure in the dashboard, since you don't even have a networking link for you or cable for you to configure it or plug it in into the device. If you need more help, about any Cisco Meraki device, feature, or troubleshooting tips, or even how to automate your network, you can come here and you can see our playlist for all the things that we have done already that is gonna help you to be better troubleshooting or maintaining, monitoring your Cisco Meraki network. And that's how you configure the Cisco Meraki MT12 in the IT way. See you in the next one.